to address the issues facing Tennesseans today. From 10 News, this is Inside Tennessee. Good morning and welcome to Inside Tennessee. I'm your moderator, John Becker, and our focus this morning, Plan East Tennessee, Plan It for short. Plan ET is what they call it. It's including five counties around the metro area, Anderson, Blunt, Knox, Loudoun, and Union. The three-year plan tackles jobs, housing, transportation, and the environment. And those are broad topics, but this morning we'll also look to get specific with three people directly involved with this regional plan. And we welcome mayors, also uh, the th two mayors with us, Tom Taylor from Maryville. Thanks very much for being here. Thank you. Mayor Madeline Rojero from Knoxville. Thank nice you for being here. You. And also from Union County, Julie Graham, who is the Union County Chamber of Commerce representative. Hi. Thank you for being here. Thank you. And uh, we will talk about those day to day things momentarily as well as the broad picture. But first, our panel this morning includes Don Bosch. Nice to have you. Good morning. A lawyer in town and Jack McElroy, the editor of the New Sentinel. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to <laughs> you as well and to <laughs> all of you who are watching on this Sunday morning. Mayor, let's start with you with the big picture and we'll move to you as well, Mayor. Um, just about uh, why this is important. Let's start with that question. I think it's important because it's important to plan. It's hard to make an argument against planning for the future, especially when you have complex uh, metropolitan areas bordered by fairly rural counties, and we know this area will continue to grow. So it's very important to plan for the future. And I don't know that the plans will all be followed exactly, but I think that really is something we have to look to. Um, I think what will be a success for us in Blount County and Maryville may be different in Union County, Loudoun, and obviously in Knox County. So, so in some ways it's much different, but uh, it still will be important and successful if we, if we get this planning process uh, in action. And Mayor, you've been involved from the get-go on this, but it's it includes a lot of input from people across the community, interviews with people on the street. Talk about some of the, the ways that it is including people in all those counties. Right. Well, right now there are uh, forums that are uh, going on that are asking people from the different uh, counties that are involved, munici municipalities, about what their what their vision is for the for the future. And and just to build upon what the mayor said. Earlier this week, the chamber asked me to meet with some economic development consultants who were in town. And the first thing they asked me is, do you support regionalism? Do you believe in regionalism? And the second question is, are you committed to sustainability? And because from their uh, viewpoint and the work that they do with businesses, corporations that are looking to move or looking to expand, the two things that they think are most important for a successful uh, community in terms of economic devel development and job growth is to work regionally and is to be committed to sustainability. And that's what the Plan ET is exactly about. And they were very excited to hear about our efforts with Plan ET and a lot of the other efforts in Knoxville and in the region related to uh, a comprehensive, sustainable future. Julie, let's hear your perspective on this before these guys jump into questions. But you're from Union County. How do you see your county playing a role in this movie? Well, forward? we are a region, and when we just look just at our workforce and where they go to find jobs, we have a huge commute pattern out. And when you look at that commute pattern for most of the counties, you'll see that crisscrossing. So it's pretty pretty substantiated that we're a region. Mm -hmm. Our workforce is going there. As far as um, for Union County and a bigger part of the region, we have assets that, that Knox County and Anderson County enjoy, the lake being one of them. Most of the lake is in Union County. So when we're marketing back and forth and we're talking about um, Blunt County and the airport and you want to bring folks in to do things, we're important in this region for that particular issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, folks, I, I'm having a deja vu moment <laughs> here, and I think back to eight years ago, mm -hmm. and this sounds remarkably like nine counties, one vision. And so I think what I, I'll start with you, Madeline, mm -hmm. why is this different? Or are we just in sort of another revisit slash new planning phase of some of the same themes? Yeah. Well, some of the th plan, uh, Nine counties, Nine one vision. counties, one vision, thank you. I was part of that too. That was an even larger area and it covered many more issues really. I mean, our, it's, it's, as um, was mentioned at the very beginning, this is more narrowly focused on housing, transportation, uh, a healthy community. Some of those same things community. were covered in Nine Counties, they One were. Vision. And this is, um, 
this is an, an, an opportunity for us to focus on that on five counties that work very importantly together. And there wasn't so much a focus on sustainability, on how we're planning for the future in a sustainable way, which means that we're using our resources uh, in a way that we know there'll be resources in the future for our, for our children. Uh, so it's, it's a continuation. It might be sort of the next step from Nine Counties, One Vision. You know, you can't, you can't plan, you know, eight, ten years ago and then sit and just never do anything again. It's a constant. There's new leadership. Right. You know, there are a lot, in, probably in all of our communities, there are new leaders, whether it's on the legislative bodies or, or the, um, uh, you know, the chambers and a lot of those. So right. we have to continually be working together as a region. The economy changes. Circumstance circumstances change and so we have to continually be working together to make sure that we are and and unified as we're moving forward right and Tom I know you yeah. weren't mayor during that time but well, but I was involved you were and, yeah. and what I guess the, the thing that comes to mind is is what what did we see tangible out of nine counties one vision for for example in Blunt County that now maybe this new process smaller more refined as, as Mayor O'Hara has described can, th that we can build on at this point because a lot of people I'll have the planning yeah. frustration what do we get out of it and that's mm -hmm. that's what I'll ask you and and I think this is going to produce some very concrete things first uh, plan ET has money and uh, we have this HUD grant for about 4.3 million dollars and so we can actually organize and get some infrastructure in the planning organization so th that we can we can uh, do more than just ask for volunteers uh, second we're going to produce a planning document after three years. And, and Nine Counties, One Vision really didn't have, have an end point. Uh, it didn't have a product that it was going to produce. Plan ET does. And I think the other important thing is that this one is really being driven by a board of mayors. And mayors are particularly suited to exert political influence because they are uh, at the at the focus point between the bureaucracy and the electorate. We're gonna pause here for a quick break and then we'll get to Jack right after it. We're back on this Sunday morning, an Easter morning, and we're talking about Plan ET. And you can see this is the regional website and it is www.planeast10.org. Plan ET. E-A-S-T-T-N dot org. Jack McElroy, we'll start with you. Okay, I think it was Winston Churchill who said that plans are useless, but planning is essential. <laughs> I don't know exactly what that means, but I think part of what it means is that plans, it's important to plan, but sometimes plans get tossed out when, when the situation changes. You've talked about this planning document that will be produced after three years. What kind of... Uh, 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 enforcement will there be or what how will that actually be used going forward and will there be any kind of continuing structure any kind of inter-county council to continue the the planning uh, uh, once plan ET is fulfilled mayor why don't you tackle that one uh, I'll start <laughs> uh, I think I think it will be discretionary uh, and it will depend on each county how the document is used and to what extent and I find that even within our, our own cities in Blount County, we, we had a uh, planning document that we worked on several years ago, and we use it to various degrees. And so I think that will be determined by individual counties. Uh, I think part of the success would be if, if we get involved in this and there's enough excitement generated that maybe we can continue after the three years of this particular grant uh, is ended. And then we can we can maybe form a council, as you say, or maybe even uh, apply for some more money if this is successful to carry the planning on even further. So you it's, don't think this is a plan that's going to sit on a shelf? I hope not. Mm -hmm. And and I know that's that's where the mayors have power. Mm -hmm. I can tell my planning department that, that we want to see these things implemented, and the mayor has the same has the same uh, influence in her district. So yes. Any reason not to have this evolve into some kind of uh, a. Regional planning council or, or coordinating council? 
I think when we sit and we look at where we would like to end up, success could be measured that as we've built these relationships working on this process, that absolutely you are establishing working relationships. Mm -hmm. And to be able to continue, whether it's formal or informal, would be success. So as we look out at the process, we want our counties, our cities, as Mayor Tom said, to maintain their autonomy, but to be able to work together and realize by working together, we actually benefit the re region. Let's talk about some specifics that you've already heard in the forums. What are the results? What are people saying in these counties about housing, transportation, jobs? Um, anything that stands out in particular? The number one thing you hear when you're in the forums, when you sit with these people, it doesn't matter what room you sit in, what their socioeconomic level is, they talk about how beautiful the region is the importance of maintaining how beautiful the region is. So that's important to them. Jobs, they want to be able to stay here and work. They want their children to be able to find jobs. So that's a big one. Education, we hear education. Um, really high quality and how that impacts our ability to attract jobs. Mm -hmm. um, when we work as economic developers, we know one of the big questions you get from companies is the quality of your schools. So mm -hmm. they look at it and folks in the communities know. Mm -hmm. So that's, those are coupled and, and right off the bat. How do you battle that? Because I think of Union County, and I know that Union County has struggled with, with some of the schools and some of the school issues there. And all of our schools, fortunately, in the region seem to be on the uptick and improving mm -hmm. a little bit. But in this economy and with the resistance uh, to possibly have to increase taxes after things are already getting, and I think we all would agree on this panel mm -hmm. that things in school districts are already pretty lean. I mean, how, how do we deal with that in order to make our schools better? Because at the end of the day, it does, there is a need for more funding. Um, when you look at schools, there's three things in the schools. There's funding, it's the quality of teachers or the programming, and there's parents. And sometimes we leave pieces out of it. When you bring forward concerns and you get the ability to get people engaged, sometimes you can get impact without having a lot, poor lot of dollars after it. And I think um, probably Mayor O'Hara can talk a little bit about um, the focus that, say, um, our governor is putting on education and the importance and the quality of the teachers. Some of the same things we're looking at. So there are programs out there that we can tap into. And sometimes when you're working together, um, you can find solutions in a time of scarce resources. And so that's a, that would be a goal as we look at Union County. What's working well somewhere else that looks a lot like us? And I've always said, to, to, to make a lot of change in the community or to try and tackle some of those tough issues like you mentioned, you really have to build the, the community will in order to get the political will. And part of this is showing what the community will is in our region. You know, what do we hope for? What do we want to see? And that's what these forums are about. And this initial process is, is to see what the community will is and then to develop uh, a plan that um, the political will can get behind. You know, because often the community will comes first. All right, we're going to take another quick break. Mayor, we'll let you make your point right after this. All right, we're talking uh, about a planning effort that is underway among five counties in this region. And one of the things uh, that this process talks about is having three phases. Uh, Mayor Taylor, we're in the, in the middle of the shared identity and vision phase, which is supposed to last through July. And then we enter this shared direction phase, which is about another year process. And then the final product and implementation. Can you talk about um, kind of what you'd like to see this summer and then how you'll use that information going forward? forward I think I think what has been a surprise to us is that uh, many of the things that we predicted were important in the region turned out to be important and we have been we have been very non manipulative in asking people what they thought was important and, and I have attended several of these groups and the facilitators make sure that all ideas get heard so we've been collecting data and we will continue to collect data our next set of forums starts April 23rd and uh, that will go through July, as you say, and then we will start formulating these ideas and trying to, to group them so we can see where we want to focus. And then, of course, the last year, we'll, we'll try to 
to build the planning document. Mm -hmm. So well, I'm happy where we are. We right want now. to make sure that people who cannot attend the forums that they know yes. that they can go online and they and there's a place there that you click and then you can give your opinion as well. So you don't. Mm -hmm. We want people to come out to the forums, mm -hmm. but if you can't do that, if it doesn't fit your schedule, and then, then please. Another, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. No, another tool that we have out there in each one of the counties, we do these things called meetings in a box, and we'll invite small segments of the community to come in exact same questions as if you went to the public forum and as we go into this second part we'll be continuing with that meeting in a box because it's been very successful we can get to the churches we can get to communities we can get to organizations and um, gather data so uh, go ahead Jim. What, what's the reason for the parameters of this why these five counties and why these five issues I guess was there anybody that wanted in that didn't get in or anybody that well, you wanted it, in that didn't want to come in it, it, the the definition was the MSA it was yeah, the okay. metropolitan statistical mm -hmm. area and that's the five counties in if you asked if there were counties that would have liked to have been in we have some fuzzy borders you look at some of the sure. economic yeah. dri drivers particularly in the valley and one of the counties that's part of the the Innovation Valley is not in this, so we do have some fuzzy borders, and can we you, recognize that. Can you have like associate members or <laughs> people who get to sit in on the meeting yeah, and not in. vote? Or, <laughs> yeah. well, you, you know, Roan County is sure. well, that's, you know that's between that's Loudoun and, and, and right. Anderson. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, but we right. wouldn't ignore their needs because right. it's all it's yeah. all the region. One of, one of the things that's a, a challenge, as you all know as politicians, is that we haven't met a politician on this panel who is against education. But it, it's how they would spend uh, their money toward education. That, that's where it's in those details where, where we see the differences really sort of play out. Are you finding that true or do you expect to find that, that, that we may see some divisions develop as we move further down the road? I think I think what we're going to see is an over, uh, overall upgrade of education through this this program, and um, as as we mentioned earlier, it's not all about money. It's mm -hmm. it's about developing a culture where education uh, is expected to be good, and education is important. Um, surely it it involves some money, but it's not all dollar driven, and. Um, I think that's especially what they're finding out in Union County, that it, it, it's mm -hmm. not all money, even though there is a tipping point on dollars that you have to have. Mm -hmm. Some of these issues uh, uh, clearly lend themselves to regional thinking, transportation. Mm -hmm. uh, but education, I'm not sure I, I get it. How, how is it that uh, apply for common grants or, uh, you know, how, how, does, how does that work? I think it's about building a support throughout the region, knowing that we're all impacted by the, the quality of our workforce, number one, because if, you know, if we recruit uh, a, you know, business to, to Knoxville or to Knox County, we may need workers for, you know, from surrounding counties. You know, mm -hmm. We need a, a, an educated workforce, and by having, um, if we don't have a large enough uh, number of people, who have the skills that are needed for a particular industry, then we're going to be hurting. We may lose that opportunity. So it helps everybody to have an educated workforce. Sure, uh, we, we agree, I guess, in the mm -hmm. premise and the goal, but mm -hmm. how does, for example, Knox County provide something concrete and real to Union County through this process to improve Union County's educational process? Well, I don't think that's what it's about. No. But, Do you want to speak to that, Julie? Uh, well, yeah, I, I don't think that's necessarily about what it's about, but if you bring stakeholders together and they can share ideas, I'm sure you talk to your colleagues sometimes and you learn things from other practices and you can walk away with those practices whether it's something about scholarships or a better way to deal with um, issues in school with kids that are having trouble. You are starting to work together whether you recognize it. There is a dependency where we want our children to be educated and we also need trained workforce. I look at the Tennessee Achieves program as a great example. It started one place and now it is reaching out into the other communities because the overall goal would be to have that workforce. Right, and that's the kind of example I was sort of seeking yeah. and looking mm -hmm. for and, and that's trying right. to hear. Julie Graham from Union County, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank nice you. to have you with us. Mayor Harrell, you're going to stick around with us and we appreciate that. Mayor Taylor, nice to have you as well. Thank you very much. We're going to talk about a pension plan issue in the city of Knoxville coming back.